Hello, I'm Katie Steckles. I'm Matt Parker. And this is a video for aperiodical.com. Uh, we thought, given it's the 25th of April 2012, which is the birthday of Felix Klein, we'd do a video about the top N things involving a Klein bottle. Fact number one. If you want to make a Klein bottle, all you need is a square and the ability to do things in four dimensions. So you start with a square and you wrap it around into a cylinder, like this, and then once you've got your cylinder, you take this end and join it onto this end, but backwards, which you can't really do with a piece of paper. But, fact number two, you can do that with a slinky. So if you get a slinky here, that is our cylinder, you can loop it around, pass one through the other and join it up that way. So that, strictly speaking, is a Klein model. Fact number three. You can also make a Klein bottle from a pair of trousers. Here I have a scale model of a pair of trousers, and all you need to do is take one of the legs of the trousers, put it down through the waistband, and then when you get to there, uh, you sew these two edges together, and then this bit you somehow sort out using a bit of extra fabric, and you've essentially got a Klein bottle. Or, fact number four, a less disturbing way to make a clothing-based Klein bottle is to, well, knit a hat. Uh, this is a, a hat that is knit as a Klein bottle, so the hat goes off into a tube. The tube goes through the side, and if you pull that through, you can see here uh, the tube opens up to become the side of the hat again. So it's a never-ending loop of knitting that goes through itself, and you can wear it as a semi-hilarious hat. Fact number five, uh, Klein bottles can't exist in three-dimensional space, as may have previously mentioned, because they have to pass through themselves. Uh, if you want to make a Klein bottle that doesn't intersect itself anywhere, you have to be in four dimensions. So, for example, there are three-dimensional objects that you can't have in two dimensions without them intersecting themselves. So, like, if you took me and cast a shadow of me onto the wall behind, uh, you could uh, then... I could then put my hand into my own head, and it would look like in my shadow I was putting my hand into my own head, but in three dimensions, of course, I can happily do that. So the Klein bottle needs four dimensions, and then it can all kind of just sort of pass through without intersecting. Fact number six. Uh, the Klein bottle only has, strictly speaking, one side. So uh, if you put an ant on a Klein bottle on the outside, outside here, it could walk all the way around onto the inside, inside of the tube, and then on the inside, loop back around to the outside of the tube, and then here, Obviously, this is the bit where it intersects in 3D, but in 4D or higher, it just goes around, uh, and then you're back on here. So just like a, a Mobius loop, there is only one side to the Klein surface. Fact number seven. A Klein bottle isn't really a bottle. So when Felix Klein invented the Klein bottle, he called it a Klein surface, or Kleinsche Fläche, uh, which then somehow got confused with Kleinsche Flasche, which is German for Klein bottle. Uh, so that's how the name came about, but it sort of does look like a bottle, so it's fine. Fact number eight. Let's say you wanted to colour in a Klein bottle. Uh, and so we know that for a normal map, if you divide it up into sections, you will never need more than four colours to colour in all the different sections, so that no two sections touching are the same colour. If you did the same thing on the surface of a Klein bottle, you will never need more than six colours to colour in all the different sections, so no two of them touch. In fact, here I have a map of a Klein bottle that I have started colouring in. Uh, and so, for example, this yellow one here would then wrap around, that would be yellow as well. And I'd only need these six colours to be able to colour them all in, so that no two ones are the same colour that touch. And no matter how complicated you make this map of a Klein bottle, you will never need more than these six colours. Fact number nine. Uh, if you take a Klein bottle and cut it in half along the correct axis, you get two Mobius bands. Uh, so in theory, I could take these two Mobius bands and some glue, and glue them back together to make a Klein bottle. Fact number N. Because a Klein bottle is a topological shape, uh, it doesn't matter how you distort it, it's still a Klein bottle. So this one has been stretched around to look like a conical flask. Of course, something like the hat, no matter how you stretch this around, still, strictly speaking, it's a Klein bottle. In fact, you can distort it into a stein shape. Uh, so this is your Klein stein. It's exactly the same as all the other Klein bottles but made to look like a stein. So if you took your, let's say, your Felix beer, and you pour that in here, it's now, well, it's still outside 
the climb bottle because the actual inside bit you can see is just inside here but then again it's a climb bottle so that is still the outside in fact you can even get beer pouring down into the handle into the other cavity so there you are that is your Klein Stein. So hopefully now you're a bit more well informed about the Klein bottle and all that's left for us to say is happy birthday Felix Klein. Cheers! <laughs>